Um, so I guess before he joins in, I think we could probably just introduce ourselves. Um, I think we do have a number of participants on the call itself. Um, and we'll probably see where to take it from there. Um, I'll probably kick off from my end. Uh, my name is Daniel. Um, I am Nigerian. I currently live in Nairobi, Kenya. I work in finance. I'm looking to move into risk management, which is one of the reasons why I'm very interested in um, learning about R. Um, I think this is going to be a a very big um, setup for us to do that. Nico, I think, yes, we're supposed to do the cameras on. Um, I mean, depending on how comfortable everyone feels. Um, uh, so I'll probably leave it up to that. But that's that's my my introduction. Anybody else can go on. Okay, maybe I go on to break the ice. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I'm Nico. I, I live in uh, Berlin, uh, Germany. I am a, a journalist. Uh, I work in a in a team of investigative uh, journalists from a number of uh, European uh, countries. It's called Investigate Europe, and I have um, decided some months ago to try and learn R, uh, which has been very unsuccessful so far. So I uh, hope that I can uh, make it um, maybe more successful by um, joining this cohort and maybe having uh, some kind of motivation to do a little bit of work every week. Um, so that's why I'm here. And yeah. Okay, now I'll try. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, my name is Anna, and uh, I'm from Serbia. I live in Belgrade, and I work with Nico <laughs> uh, for uh, for the last uh, few months. And uh, I'm also an, an investigative journalist, and um, I was working with data, but uh, mostly in Excel, and I don't know anything about R except the idea of it. So I'm really interested in learning it. Thanks. Uh, I can go next. Uh, my name is Trisha Adamus. Uh, I am in uh, Wisconsin, Madison in the United States. I am a research data librarian and uh, I'm very involved in the Carpentries organization and I've been teaching our at least the introductory sections and I'd like to learn a little bit more about R so that's why I'm here. Hey, good day, everyone. Oh, oops, sorry, I'll let you. <laughs> you are you are you sure? Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll be quick. Um, I figured that was got bound to happen at some point. Um, my name's Shannon. I'm in Washington State in the U.S. I apologize, my camera's so dark. We're having a really dark, rainy Washington Pacific Northwest day here. So. Um, I am a former fisheries biologist and I used to work with R on like a really high level and I was always interested in it but never really got to kind of dig deep with the position that I was in and I'm currently in a career change and I'm doing some online education. I'm taking some Coursera courses on data science and just trying to get a better understanding of R and kind of like Daniel was saying right off the bat, I'm interested in kind of like risk management and like environmental, using it in like uh, kind of climate change or like greenhouse gas or anything like that, like that emerging industry kind of working in in that realm. And um, it's been all kind of book learning and online learning that I haven't had any live interaction with anybody. So I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to this, being able to actually kind of get some feedback and be able to have people to kind of bounce questions off of and, and learn R with. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay, good day, everyone. Um, I'm Olusha Ladiem. I'm a Nigerian. Um, I'm a lecturer in the University of Ibadan, but currently a postdoc in South Africa. Um, a fluvial geomorphologist by profession, and I also use um, remote sensing. Um, I use R 
Yes, I use R, but um, this is um, something I'm really looking forward to, a systematic study that would really you know, open up um, a lot of ideas and also give me some background knowledge. I'm really happy to be here and I look forward to the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Hey, hi everyone. My name is Esmeralda. I'm from Mexico, but currently I am living in the UK. Um, I am starting a PhD program in here. And I think I am in a good time to um, strong my skills in R since my project is aiming to try to uh, understand how the vegetation responds to the past climate changes. So yeah, I want to improve my my skills. Yeah. Uh, I can go next if you can hear me. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't work today. Hi, I'm Maria Elena. I'm, I'm from Greece. I'm currently in Athens doing a PhD in linguistics. I'm working with language in aphasia. And I have some experience with R. I, I have analyzed data in the past, but the bad thing I feel is that I have very specific knowledge and then for something basic, I have problems. So I've tried to do some tutorials and work with it, but I hope that through this course, I will be more motivated and yeah, uh, I, um, I can't wait to, to learn more. And I hope by next week, my camera will work. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Matthew. I. Hello. Can anyone hear me? Yep. Yes, yes, Matthew. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Matthew. I'm a Nigerian. I graduated from the University of Ibadan. I currently live in Nigeria. I'm a data science enthusiast. I have some level of experience analyzing data with R. I would love to learn more and dig deep as I would love to improve myself and get to know more and possibly also join in the book review and um, take some classes and learn more. So thank you. Um, I'll go ahead. I'm John Harmon. Um, I run the R4DS Slack, and I won't be here every week. I, I wasn't able to join at the beginning of this, um, but I just wanted to, you know, welcome everyone and be here to kind of help help you sort out how this is going to work. Um, Daniel has agreed to facilitate this group, and so hopefully, hopefully, it won't be that hard. So, the idea is, you're, you know, it's a book club. It's not a class, so you're all working together to run this. Um, and I don't, I don't know if he went over anything at the beginning, but the general idea is each week someone will take a chapter and um, like lead the discussion of that chapter. Uh, we have notes that we're developing over in cohort five that are shared in the chat. Um, and so those will be available. I highly encourage you if you're comfortable doing so to like work from those and then edit them. Um, for the most part, you can edit them just right in place. There's an edit button on everything, so you could do it that way. Or if you want to get more um, familiar, you know, as you get more familiar with our for D or with our studio, depending on how new you are to R, you can uh, set up to do it on your local machine. Um, we have the Slack available for help if anyone needs help, kind of figuring out how to do that. But again, it's do what you're comfortable with. You can present the notes as is. You can use nothing if you know you don't need to use the notes. You could use the book. Um, it's it's just a friendly discussion forum. So whatever makes sense for you. Um, and I don't know if anyone's left to introduce themselves. So I'm going to hand it over to Daniel or someone else. <laughs> I, I think we've gone through everybody. Um, I don't think there's anybody else on the that is left to introduce themselves. So uh, please, you could just correct me if, if I'm wrong. But I think like like John mentioned, this is going to be like a very friendly book club. So every week we 
we pick an individual that presents, you know, uh, sorry, you volunteer every week to um, present a particular chapter of the book, um, and we just run through it, um, uh, you know, as, as much as we can. Um, I think that's the idea. If there's anybody else that haven't have introduced themselves, I think that would be fantastic. Um, just go in. So probably just give like a minute there about this. Any other person? All right. Looks like that's everybody. Um, so, like, we sometimes the first week we will kind of a little bit go through the introduction, the pre the preface of the the book, and sometimes we don't. I don't know. Um, again, I'm sorry that I missed the beginning. I don't know if you've done anything. Oops, along that line, those lines. Yeah, we, we've not we've not touched anything yet. Okay, let me pull this up to show you the kind of thing that we have. Oops, if I can get this into another tab. Okay, let me share my screen. Oops. Um, all right, so in theory, I should be sharing my screen. Can everyone see that? It's R for Data Science Book Club. Um, Yes, and so to answer the question in the chat, generally what will happen is like today, uh, someone will volunteer to present next week, and um, and then and that's how that works. Some groups and and I'm I'm coming around to this uh, make like a Google spreadsheet that they all share, and you put all the chapters in the spreadsheet, and you can sign up ahead of time. That way, if there's something that looks really interesting, you can sign up. One thing I will say is, um, you know, most likely you'll want to do it kind of by schedule to make sure that you're available. And sometimes uh, things will run long. You'll end up taking two weeks on a chapter. So don't be too disappointed if you sign up for chapter 27 in two months or whatever it would be. And then it turns out to not be the right day. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll, I can help Daniel set up that spreadsheet so that we have that to go. But generally, at the end of this or by the end of this meeting, someone volunteer for the next chapter. and we have these notes available. So um, they're set up as a book down and it's all edited in R. Uh, and the idea is that it is um, some something on the order of slides. You wanna think of it as slides, but then they're all laid out by the chapters. Um, uh, so sorry, each week someone will volunteer. This is a really great way to learn the material. Um, you can, do a review, a discussion, a demonstration, anything that kind of makes sense to you. And we have this GitHub repo that you can get to through these, this link that will help you um, learn how to do it. Again, I know that a lot of people here are probably brand new to working with R. So don't like, don't bite off more than you're, that, than you're comfortable with, but learning GitHub is, you know, it's a very valuable skill. So if you can uh, learn it, it's not that hard. Um, well, it's not that complicated. It's not, it's, it can be hard to kind of understand, but, uh, it's not, it's not hard to start with. All right. Um, the presentations are recorded and they're available on our YouTube channel. And, um, you can always go back and watch previous cohorts. Like if you're going to present and you're kind of nervous about, oh, what am I going to do here? You can go to the YouTube channel and see what people have done in the past. Um, and so we can go ahead and go over this. There's the preface of the book. Um, I think that I just have the one slide. Oh, um, no, okay. There are some notes in here. Um, this kind of is just an introduction to the book. One thing that's nice because uh, my group is going ahead, ahead uh, or going through ahead of you, and I work in education, so we're writing learning objectives for every chapter. So you'll have those when you go to read the chapter. Um, and uh, so here we're we're just trying to understand what is a data science project. What's the order of the book? What's not covered in the book? And then how to set up R. I'm not gonna go into that section because that's very much um, something you should read through and do and learn how to set up your system and get that ready for the, for the future chapters. Uh, but so in general, um, you know, this book's about data science and he introduces the concept of uh, 
this data science process where you import data, you tidy it, and he will be defining what that means. You uh, work through a cycle to try to understand your data, and then you communicate it. And you know the reason he lays it out this way is that's what the book covers. Is it goes through all of these sections. It, it tells you how to import the data, how to tidy it, how to work on it to understand it, and how to communicate it. Um, we're going to talk a lot, or the book's going to talk a lot about um, this whole tidy principle. It's what Hadley Wickham is known for, um, which really it's just basically make sure each column is a variable, each row is, is one observation. That is the tidy principle. You'll be hearing a lot more about that throughout the book. Um, you'll be doing some transformations to try to like understand um, what, you know, like maybe it'll be date and you want to group those dates by whether it's a holiday or not. So that would be a transformation that you might make. Um, you'll learn how to visualize with uh, ggplot and um, how to do some simple or some, some modeling to understand what your data is showing. And then how to communicate, including using things like this book down package that we use and a little bit of uh, programming to uh, unlock things that wouldn't be possible for you to do just one step at a time. Um, so something that I think is interesting is, you know, they, he shows this, the chart and, oh, import and tidy are first, but those are boring. And so he starts with visualization, just using some data that's built into R. And then you'll go back, and actually it's built into the packages. After you do some visualization, you go back and learn the more boring parts because he wants to show you like why. Why are you bothering to do all this stuff? Um, then you so then you do the important tidying. Then we we start looking into programming, how to um, simplify the other steps, get rid of the boring parts, and automate the boring parts. Um, and then I say here that we might get into modeling and communicating because that'll be up to you guys as the book club. Um, th this has like an introduction to modeling and an introduction to Markdown or the book club might decide, hey, let's go do a modeling book. Let's do a, uh, there is the R Markdown book. Uh, that's all up to the club as you get to those parts. Probably I would recommend do the whole thing and then you, know, you can decide what other books you wanna do from there. Um, he calls out what the book doesn't go into, um, which would be uh, like big data. He doesn't, there are separate techniques for dealing with really big data sets that are beyond what you probably want to start with. Um, and so th that's not really covered in this book. He doesn't talk about other programming languages. So obviously this book focuses on R. Um, a lot of times people will try to learn kind of everything at once. And I'm a big proponent for master, like get really good at R and or Python or Julia or whatever, get pretty good at it before you worry about learning another tool because they all can do the same things. Um, I personally, uh, I know a teeny tiny bit of Python. I mostly work in R all the time, day to day. Um, he doesn't talk about non-rectangular data, which will make more sense as you learn more about rectangular data. Uh, he, he works with things that can be kind of thought of as like a table, like Excel, that kind of thing, because that's what most of the data that you ever will work with um, is like. Um, and he doesn't do uh, hypothesis confirmation. It, so he's looking more at exploratory data analysis, not so much like inference. Um, there are other books that will that talk about that kind of thing more. Um, and so, like I said, there are notes in here about how to get started, how to set up your environment. I recommend just doing that on your own because just hearing me say, go install this thing isn't gonna be very helpful. Um, so that's that's the baseline. Was what was everyone thinking? Does anyone have any thoughts? And importantly, I guess, does anyone want to do the first real chapter, which is uh, the um, exploration. And actually, technically, oh, I guess that's a good note. There are these introduction chapters in each of the sections. The introduction chapters are one page long. So if you sign up for this, I, I really, 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 really recommend that you sign up for chapters two and three. If you really want, you could do just chapter two next week, but chapter two is one page. So it would be kind of a waste of everyone's time, probably. 
All right. Ooh, sorry. Um, all right. I am going to let Daniel uh, take it over because I have to get back to work meetings. Um, but I, like I say, I recommend set up a spreadsheet. Everyone sign up. Um, I do recommend staying on the on th this particular call until Daniel can goad somebody into volunteering, or he can volunteer himself to do chapters two and three. Um, and uh, with that, I'm sorry, I got to hand it back over to you, Daniel. Fantastic. Thank you very much, John. <laughs> I think this is actually very useful. All right. Uh, thanks. thanks. Thanks for jumping in last minute. I think this is <laughs> no very problem for me. All right. Fantastic. Bye. All right. Um, so I guess, guys, as, as John mentioned, um, I think we'll probably just work with a spreadsheet here. Um, I'll try to create one and send to the group. Uh, but it would be nice if we could actually have just one volunteer for next week, um, chapters two and three. I think that would be fantastic. Does anybody want to go? I think if I leave this open for the next two minutes, it's likely going to end up being me. So please, someone go, so so it doesn't end up being me. Um, I think a DM is said, uh, let me go. I think a DM is volunteering to go. Fantastic. A DM, are you going for that? Yes, since um, you are throwing it open to us. I'll Fantastic. Do, I'm good for that. I wouldn't mind. No problem at all. Um, so, so we could just kick off. I, I think it's pretty much the same time. Um, it's currently 7 p.m. my time in East Africa. Um, so, so yes, I think we could probably just kick off on that note. Um, what I could likely do is on the Slack channel that we have itself, if everyone could just, um, if you could share with me, um, I'll probably send the spreadsheet there, like an open spreadsheet of all the chapters. I could probably just put, um, what names or what chapters you want to volunteer for and at the end i'll probably you know put your name as week uh week two and week three and we could probably kick it from there um but i guess the entire structure is going to go the way john mentioned it's a very collaborative structure um we just literally talk about what you've learned during the chapter you know and you know if there are any questions on that chapter itself we'll probably just preface it and ask you and see you know how much you have actually learned in that in that in that chapter itself and you know learn learn from you as we kind of go forward. Um, so yes, um, I'm, I'm good for that. If there's nothing else, I think that's likely where we're going to end this meeting itself. And uh, you guys should probably look out for a spreadsheet from me. Um, uh, we can kind of, we can kind of go from there.